Hi, this is Rick Hutchinson from Doan University in Microbiology, and I want to talk to you about lysogenic conversion and the differences between lytic and lysogenic, lysogenic replication of bacteriophages. So the process has to do with a virus attacking a bacteria. So viruses are made of proteins uh, and uh, one nucleic acid. So they don't really have the option to replicate. So they use the uh, host cell uh, to duplicate or replicate their DNA and their, uh, their microorganelles. Uh, they do this by attaching and entering the cell. If they don't have an envelope, they trick the cell's receptors into letting them in. If they have an envelope, they can directly fuse to the membrane. Uh, once the genetic material is in the cell, it starts to take over. Uh, this takes place either by performing the lytic cycle or the lysinogenic cycle. Now here's where we get to the meat and potatoes. We'll start off with the lytic cycle. Lytic means to cut the cell or rupture the cell. Someone had likened this to the impatient method. Viruses attack a, a, a bacteria by injecting their DNA in, into it. This effectively uh, destroys the cell. We'll get to that here in a second. But uh, in the process, the ribosomes of the virus start to make viral proteins and uh, codes for more viruses until eventually the cell breaks open or, or the lysis takes place and releases the virus. This process has five steps. Number one would be penetration, two would be biosynthesis, three maturation, and four lysis and release uh, of, the, of the virus, which results in the death of the host cell. So that's the lytic cycle. The lysinogenic cycle is a little bit different here. Um, actually, it's a lot different in a couple different ways. The lysinogenic cycle is somewhat likened to the hitch a ride method in which um, the, uh, the virus attacks the bacteria and it incorporates its own nuclear DNA into the phage without destroying it. Uh, there it lies dormant in a latent phase. The cell divides and carries its uh, prophage DNA from generation to generation. So this is not going to be as fast as the uh, alytic cycle, but the, the virus does not make as many offspring uh, as quickly but because it has incorporated itself into cell, the cell has the potential to make many more offspring. The process is the, divided into the attachment phase, the penetration phase, the integration phase, the maturation phase, and the replication phase. Now here's the catch. If the cell becomes stressed uh, due to uh, UV light or some other mutagen, uh, the phage, uh, phage induction takes place. Where, uh, where the integrated repressor DNA is no longer quiet, so that we're talking about this, this dormant DNA that's integrated itself into the cell uh, due to a stressor, uh, mutagen, U, uh, UV light no longer lies dormant and becomes active. And uh, then, it, then basically we enter into a lytic cycle from the lysinogenic cycle. Um, the, the host DNA is then destroyed by the formation of proteins and released from the cell. So you can go from a lysinogenic cycle uh, to a lytic cycle due to a mutagen, or you can uh, just be in the lytic cycle, but the lytic cycle cannot move over into the lysinogenic cycle. So uh, what's an explanation of the role lysinogenic conversion plays in the, the development of uh, pathogenicity in bacteria? So these uh, lysino lysinogenic conversion plays a role in that added genes from the bacteriophage enhances the ability of the bacteria uh, co to cause pathogenic effects and makes it more dangerous. So basically we've got this cloaked uh, DNA inside of this cell and uh, it doesn't destroy the host cell. So we don't see as much damage initially, but it can, it can duplicate and make more offspring over time. So we see the replication of it and then uh, due to a, a, a mutagen or UV light or some other type of uh, effector, it will actually uh, uh, it will actually uh, start that lytic cycle and it will destroy those cells. So some examples of lysinogenic conversion uh, we have here uh, and how they have contributed to uh, pathogenicity. We have uh, Clostridium botulinum, which is botulism. Some of you all know that, I'm sure. And we have strep Streptococcus pygenis, which uh, is also known as scarlet fever. And a third uh, for a bonus, 
a gram negative bacteria uh, causing cholera, which is also an example of lysinogenic conversion. So uh, that's all I have for you right now. I know it was over three minutes. We got five minutes there, but that's about as fast as I can do it. Thanks a lot. Hope you learned something. Have a great day.